Okay, we're trying something new today. E mountain bikes. This is a Luna X1, I think. My buddy Jamie just got it. And uh, give me a chance to go play it a little bit. I don't know any of the specs. I'll put a link at the bottom of the video here so you can you can look up all the specs on it. But what I do know is a 1,000 watt Bafang <clears throat> mid-drive motor. Got a carbon fiber frame, some Yari forks, and a rock shock. Uh, 27 and a half, 2.8 tires, the Minions. And uh, it's a total different bike. My usual ride, I've got a, a Levo Comp Carbon. And that's the, my favorite, you know, 29 inch E mountain bike. I've got a Knievo also, but I wanted to see what these things are all about, these Bafangs. So these bikes, the Levo is 69.50. This bike is 4,000 delivered. So it's quite a quite a step up in price to get to the specialized now from just initial rides i have we're in assist one doesn't really feel like there's any assist at all and the Bafang is definitely nowhere near as smooth as the levo in terms of pedal assist bros is very natural feeling this one's got a little bit more of a kind of a, a jerk response almost and uh but once you get up in the four, it's pretty good. The other thing that's kind of cool about this bike, it's a total different experience, is the thumb throttle. So you can push my left thumb here, and I'm not pedaling, and it just pulls you right along. Which is kind of interesting. Whoa, now these are, uh, these are my usual Moto Woods bike motorcycle trails. These aren't prep mountain bike trails by any means. But again, this thumb throttle is a different experience. I'm just coasting here, but on the throttle. And it's kind of crazy. It just adds a different dimension. Now I'm just getting pedal assist. I'll go up to five. That's their max assist. And you can definitely feel that it's got some juice behind it the other thing that's neat is you've got a there's a little quick hill climb here and normally on my levo i got it's about all i can to really focus and make it up it but on this if i give it the throttle and the pedal assist it's pretty easy to go up and i can just kind of sit or stand and then have the motor pull me up at about 11 miles an hour so that is a total different experience this bike's a little heavier i don't know the spec exactly it feels a little heavier than the levo but the suspension it's set up for jamie and he's a little heavier than i am it's a little stiff for me but i'm sure it's tunable again i'm using the throttle here i'm just trying to get a feel you can pedal and throttle at the same time, or just pedal assist. But like I said, that's a that's kind of a totally different feel. There's just a slight delay when you pedal before you get assist. I don't really notice that on my on my uh, specialized. Oh, a little bit of a clearance. It's kind of cool. You can just throttle yourself along. So again, this is blurring the lines between mountain bike pedal motorcycle some features of both on there we well, can carry a lot of speed that's what's fun about it wow this is like the moto track here you can just pedal and moto along
Wow, that's a different experience. Luna X, X1. Got a throttle, dropper, shifters, mode selection. Man, that is a fun ride. That's a different experience. Motorcycle, mountain bike, electric mountain bike. It's a very unique combination. Two thumbs up.